so let me introduce you with our new api series where we are going to create the e-commerce restful api by using eloquent api resources come with laravel 5.5 if you have created any api using laravel you must have used the fractal package but because we are on laravel 5.5 which gives the api resources for transforming our data but what exactly we are going to create in this series so let's see what we are going to create by going to the postman so here we you can see we have three folders one is oauth to get the token then the products where we can see the product we can see a single product we can store a product update or destroy a product similarly we have reviews obviously a product has many reviews so we can show the review store update and destroy the reviews so let's see some magic here so i will go here and go to this product all this route is api slash products if your consumer the api consumer will go to this route he will get the list of the product from your website not only that there is a pagination there is 43 items per page is 5 so we can go to this route to have other products that's cool i think it, i like it <laughs> so what about uh, getting the information of single product you can see we also have a link to get the single product detail so the first product can be seen and its detail can be seen by going to the, this link so let's see the product 2 and this is actually product show which will give the single product detail so let's send this you can see we have details we have ratings and obviously you can add whatever you want similarly for any product we also have many reviews so to get the reviews for a single product you can see another route is here so let's go to this route, send it, and we get review ID, customer name, the name of the customer who has reviewed is, and review, whatever the review, and also the star rating he or she has given. Similarly, we can store a new product. So let's just close these things. So to store a product, obviously we have to send the data, but we are not going to send the data by using the query string. So what we have to do, we have to give a post request, but this has to be authenticated. So you can see authorization is here and this auth is actually an environment I have created. And you can see we have auth variable bearer and this is long token. Okay. So if I uncheck this, send it, and you can see unauthenticated. I have the body, name, detail, price, stock, discount, let's say uh, something else. And now if I give authorization, hit send button, boom, you can see our new product is added and rating is zero. Obviously, there is no rating. So if I go here, send it, no rating. That's good. Okay, so this is all about the product store. Obviously, like this, we can also update our product. So here is the product detail. You can see, here is the product detail. And if I want to give it product two, test one and two, then send, and the result will be the all data we have associated with that product. So this is very cool. And if I want to destroy, so let's get all the product and see what will be the ID of the last one we have created. So for getting that, we have to go to page nine, send it and ID is 44, is that true? Yeah, so let's go to destroy, make it 44, send and remember that I have authorization code here and 204 no content this means everything works fine so if i go again 
to show that single product having 44 we know that we have deleted that let's see what happened so I will send it and we get product model not found cool I think this is a ideal API okay so similarly we have the details about so let me close that and we have seen that we can see a product review by going to this route but we can also create a new review just like we have created our product so similarly we have this review and the header with the authorization code and if i send it it will give me preview and now for the 40th product name let's again send and this time we have the three and obviously identical one not a problem okay and then same thing we have update and destroy like we have on the product so this whole api series i have created only for you and if you enjoy this api series please please share this series with your developer friends on facebook on twitter and instagram anywhere you want so that everyone get the best thing from laravel which is now the e-commerce restful api so we will meet in the next episode to start our journey of creating an api so till then don't forget to subscribe like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram till then goodbye